She wearing her own scarf. Now she thinks she cute. Hey creators, welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis the artist. <laughs> I know, sister out here like poetic. Just this. Yes, Chicago. I'm ready. I'm geek. I officially finished Aquarius. I am beyond geek because now I can shift my energy into new creative things, which is of course completing this series, okay? And I officially started designs for the scarves that's gonna be launching in the spring boo. So you know what you need to do? Set what what do they need? Settle in? It's been a minute. Grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog. Y'all, I am so happy that I got these paintings back. <laughs> Why I stay turned? Y'all, it ain't a game. Your girl stay turned. Okay, we are officially leaving the Paramount Theater where uh, my paintings were on display. I swapped them out with two other pieces that actually aren't for sale. So I actually don't mind those pieces being in the show. Um, since I won't have to do the whole swap out again. <sighs> Checking on my mural that's over there. It's doing all right, but we see somebody tagged it a little bit. I see the team was trying to get it off. So actually, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Uh, I have a previous vlog showing the process of me painting the Paramount Theater mural. It's called Mama's Gun, so check that out on my channel if you missed it. Um, I did put a varnish layer on it and mural shield, so I know the Paramount team is going through some transitions, so I'll probably just run out here later this week and clean it up just to let the streets know. Your girl got an eye on the mirror. Don't be out here tagging it. It's pretty, like tagging is pretty common. That's a normal thing. Um, it's actually lasted a long time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Not, not really actually. People do, people do decently well. Like actually Tarika's piece had to, the one who was next to mine, um, hers has had to been swapped out quite a bit because taggers, <sighs> really like to damage vinyl stuff which is so disrespectful but it is what it is but what's really nice is that it can be replaced and the mural can continue to live on so she got a fresh piece up there it's looking fantastic so later on in this week i will probably remove that and maybe i'll take you all along on the journey to show you how uh to remove any tags especially when you are using mural shields so keep your eyes out for that i like to immediately immediately get my artwork out of my car so we're headed back to the studio i'll see you all then
<laughs> Somebody try. Somebody try to help her. <laughs> Y'all know when the girls be doing like the hair flip and like it transitioned to something. I'm like, okay, so I tried to do the flip. <sighs> we gonna keep trying. We <laughs> We gonna keep trying with TikTok. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I just finished filming the enamel pins video, sharing all my tips and tools, y'all. I don't know how long that video is gonna be. I'm probably gonna have to crop so much out. I feel like I was talking forever. Anywho, we are in the studio today. What I am working on today is um, the paintings that I got back from the Paramount. Um, I ordered the graffiti remover that I use. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking you all with me later this week so that we can get the Paramount mural all cleaned up so it can look in tip top shape. And this would be a nice little tip for the artists out here. Since we have the paintings back from the Paramount, I feel like they, they need another good coat. They need another good varnish on them so that they can be looking nice and crispy for the collectors and then they'll be able to go to their new home. So let's hop into that. been a minute. I know it don't seem like a minute in a vlog because editing, <laughs> but um, it's been a minute. It's been a whole snowstorm out here in Seattle. Uh, my neighbor's doing something with a squeaky thing, so if you hear that noise, um, that's what that is. But I'm back in the studio and I am working on the scarves. Okay, I told y'all in a few, few vlogs ago, I can't even remember that I would let you all know about the scarves. So I sent them out to the patrons, um, the samples of the rebirth, and they loved them. And uh, Darnita, thank you so much for tagging me on the gram. I'm glad you got your scarf and I'm so glad you love it. So I'm excited to work on the next batch of scarves. So the actual scarves that'll be available for the public. So I wanted to show you all like these mock-ups that I got. So there were four different fabrics. I'm not even gonna talk about one of them because we just gonna throw that, throw that one to the side. But I think the ones that are gonna be perfect is the poly chiffon. And then we have the satin. But the thing about the satin is that you can see um, the image doesn't transfer to the other side of it, which is cool. But if people want the satin, that's an option. And then you have the silk. The silk is actually my favorite. It feels so good. It's phenomenal. And I'm wearing a scarf to actually um, kind of just like test out how they would look. So with the design, I'm gonna launch a scarf for each season. And so I'm working on the spring collection now, which is actually really difficult in the middle of um, a snowstorm <laughs> because I feel like I have no spring inspiration around me. So your girl just been trying to like pull from the brain, creating a, a mood board on Pinterest. Let's take this scarf for example. <laughs> Obviously it's not real Gucci, but um, my mom gave me this scarf quite a, quite a while ago and it's 36 inches. And I'm like, okay, this is perfect. Like you can wrap your hair. It could be like a face mask. It could be around your neck. There's so many different options with this. So I'm like, okay, in addition to the long scarf, we also gonna have a square scarf. And so that's why I wasn't tripping too much about the satin one because um, people will probably fold it. That's how I tied the scarf on my head. Like they'll probably fold it in a triangle. Um, of course, this is just a sample. So this is, ooh, this one might be 12 inches. It's probably about 12 inches. The one that I have on my head is 36 inches and that's the one that's gonna be available um, coming in spring. But I 
I need to make the designs. If you all watched the last video about the enamel pins, uh, then you probably saw that I've been playing around with Adobe Fresco and it is so dope. I'm just like, man, this is crazy. So many things that you can do on these digital platforms. <sighs> But y'all, I am, I am a painter at heart. And for me, it's about getting my hands dirty. It's about like smearing paint around. It's about this full body experience for me to completely express. And um, there's quite a few limitations to digital platforms, but my mind is blown about so many, about so many options that are available, like the layers, like. <laughs> Can we talk about the layers? <laughs> because I use so many layers in my paintings and so to be able to um, to have a layer already dry digitally is just profound. So for example, this stuff that I've been working on right now, that's gonna take a full day to dry. I put so many coats of paint on it, it's gonna need quite a, quite a little bit of time. But I'm liking how it's coming together. I'm still just exploring, you know, still still trying to figure it out. But at the same time, remembering that when a scarf is folded like this, you actually barely even see all the details. You know what I mean? So <laughs> once, once it's folded, you're not even gonna see that. But do I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm still, I'm just, opening up to you all how the creative process goes. It's literally just a process of trial and error where I'm trying this, I'm exploring this, I'm pouring more paint, I'm completely starting from scratch. It's just, it's literally just this process where um, what helps me in my creative process is actually creating, you know? I feel like I learned so much during the actual process of creation and then from there I can tweak one, like once I'm actually in the field, you know, if that makes sense. We trying to figure it out, but I'm super excited for the scarves, these are gonna be dope. It, it won't be this image, this is one of my old paintings. We're working on the scarf design.
Aquarius is done. She's done. Yeah, I... I feel all the feels. I feel... I feel all the feels. Artists, let me know if it's just me or if you all have this experience as well. So it's like so much creative energy goes into making work and so when it's done it's such it's such an oxymoron it's like the bliss and excitement of being done with the project but at the same time you feel I know for me I feel sad whenever it ends that's part of the reason that I work on multiple pieces at a time because then I feel like okay cool this one is about to end I'm about to just dive right into the next one keep it going keep the energy going keep the momentum going um, I actually highly suggest that as well because I feel like um, with creativity being a muscle so like the more you use it the stronger it'll get but there's also having that momentum right so if you already have that momentum going um, in your creative process it's like keep it flowing keep it moving move on to the next one uh and you can really capitalize on that creative energy that you have so definitely recommend that so um i'm using the creative momentum from aquarius to now start the design for the scarves coming up in spring so i'm excited about that i'm i'm excited about that your girl is headed home all done in the studio this snow has melted so fast i have my camera my uh car mount tripod i wanted to show you all like how beautiful and snowy it's been in seattle but it's like damn since i've been in the studio it all it went and melted so <laughs> i'll still show y'all what we what we what we got going on out here in seattle i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow so casually keep diving into concrete Sweet. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? Drowning in my fears just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the heat when it gets colder? You know. Sometimes everything just gets hard. Sometimes everything just gets harder. <laughs> she wearing the scarf a thousand ways. Get your friend. No, no, no. That's just your friend. I am so excited for the creation of these scarves. Of course, it's a journey. We got a long journey ahead of us, and you all know that I will bring you along on the adventure as I am creating these scars for spring, summer, winter, and fall to go in conjunction with my Zodiac series about the rhythms and flow of life. Dropping a little nugget in there for the patrons because I'm gonna be sharing some exclusive with you all coming soon. If you all are interested in learning a little bit more about the process of the scars and getting some discount codes when they go live that I only share with my Patreon community and email subscribers, you all are welcome to join those communities. The eFam, that's completely free. You just hop on my website, drop in your email address, and you get access to the discount codes. Or if you want to support your girl over here, you can definitely join the Patreon community. We are officially over 100 patrons. And thank you so much to my family tiers who've been really, really, really holding your girl down. I'm so grateful for my supporters and my squad over there on Patreon. Today, you all are seeing this on Friday, but the create date, I'm excited to be hanging and creating with you all. Hanging out virtually tomorrow, um, which is February 20th at 1230, okay? 12 o'clock or 1230, whatever time it is. I can't wait to see the Patreon tribe there. Make sure y'all join me next week. That's when I'm gonna show you how to remove the graffiti off of um, off murals. So as y'all know, we've been in the middle of a blizzard, okay? <laughs> this this whole week we had a snowstorm, blizzard, uh, impeachment trial failed. There was so many things going on, okay? So we're gonna do that next week when the weather is a little bit better for me to be out there cleaning up the graffiti off the Paramount mural. If you all are interested in that, make sure you all join me uh, next week. And how about y'all subscribe? We out here building, okay? I think your girl is officially uh, over 1,500 subscribers, which is like... <laughs> Y'all the real MVP, okay? The real MVP. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, if you liked it, like it. And I'll see you all next week. 
Sweet. 